In October, we launched Galaxy XR, the first device to be powered by Android XR, giving you access to Gemini. With its high quality resolution, multimodal AI input, and optional controllers, people have been very excited about the Galaxy XR and have loved all the apps and experiences that are available. The headset also launched with the incredible Explorer Pack. This gives you access to Google AI Pro, YouTube Premium, and Google Play Pass. You also get YouTube TV for $1 a month for three months, an NBA League Pass on us in the US, or TV Ng and Coupang Play Sports Pass in Korea. And everybody can access exclusive Android XR experiences, like Doug Lyman's film Asteroid, as well as Adobe's Project Pulsar for spatial video editing. That's right, Catherine. Galaxy XR really does give you the best of AI help to plus up how you watch, create, and explore. So if you're in Google Maps, it already feels immersive in XR. But then you bring in Gemini to ask more about the architecture or pull up related videos on YouTube. And now it's an experience you can only get on a Galaxy XR headset. Yeah, there's so much you can do with the infinite screen and Gemini by your side. I think that's what's been so amazing to see. With Android XR and Galaxy XR, Google and Samsung have pushed what's possible alongside a whole community of developers embracing the platform. Just one month after launch, there are now over 60 made for XR apps and games on the Google Play Store. Like Demio. Have you played that one yet? You know, I'll have to check that one out. And we're just getting started. Today, we're launching new features to expand spatial computing and bring XR to your world. Now, Kiwan mentioned earlier that one of the best things about XR devices is how they complement and augment your existing devices. With the new PC Connect, I can seamlessly pull in a window from my laptop. That unlocks so much for productivity, creativity, and entertainment. And it's super quick, too. Now here, I'm already playing City Skylines 2 on my PC. I just need to open the PC Connect app, select my desktop, and now I'm back to designing my dream city. Except this time, I'm on a ginormous screen. Playing in XR, you really get a sense of the bird's eye view. But this is the infinite screen after all, right? So let's imagine I wanted to share my city with my friends. I can open up Google Meet in another window where we can show you another cool feature. Google Meet calls are incredibly immersive on a Galaxy XR headset, but we've always wanted you to be able to show up as yourself and stay connected with friends and colleagues whether through stylized digital representations like Galaxy avatars or a more photorealistic version of yourself. So I'm about to jump on this Google Meet call and I think you'll see something new. That's me. This is the new likeness feature on Android XR. It's pretty incredible, right? And it works across video conferencing apps, not just Google Meet. How am I looking, Austin? Hey, look, that's you. Should we give everyone a sneak peek of another feature we're excited about? Absolutely. So one of the most immersive things about headsets is the ability to view things in 3D, merging your physical and digital worlds. And with the press of a button, I can take these 2D experiences and transform them into an immersive 3D experience. It really does give you an all new perspective. You can turn regular 2D content into 3D in real time across multiple apps. And because this is running on the headset, it works with pretty much any app. Just imagine if every game was immersive, every YouTube video was immersive, if the entire web was immersive. That's what auto spatialization can unlock. Exactly. In this first update starting to roll out today, you'll have PC Connect and likeness. You also get travel mode, so you can create your own personal cinema or an immersive workspace while on a flight. System-level auto-spatialization comes next year.